I'm Samuel Carlson, I'm from Sweden, and this is my classroom. So this tells us perhaps that dinosaurs not just lived in the Arctic, but they may have bred in the Arctic. The process of erosion in this case is called abrasion. So the greater amount of water, the faster the glacier and the more erosion. For the last 14 years, Students on Ice has been using nature, and in particular the polar regions, as classrooms. Algae group. Oh, can I see one? Algae. Yeah, you can hold them. Oh, wow. What is it? They look group like algae. yellow. This place is the ultimate classroom. I wish I could be in this classroom every day. <laughs> of course, I mean, you would like everywhere the classroom to be outside. This is algae. These harness? Yeah, they all group together and like, kind of like a colonial style. And look, that's what we got. Whoa! That's what is crazy. it? Wow. What is it? This is a giant thysopod that only lives in the water of the Arctic. Wow. Like it. Well, when I first came here, they always said, well, this is the best classroom on Earth, and I didn't know what they meant. And uh, as I meet all these experts and learn so much from them, and there is no walls, and the scientists here, they teach you, they're so willing. It's a little bit of hands-on. Now we drill ice cores, we tow plankton nets, we look in microscopes. Uh, we have a little bit of everything going on. The expedition for me is just a catalyst. It's a chance to spark them, to wake them up, to turn them on to, to, to topics and ideas. These kids have been, been connected, not only to nature, but through nature to themselves to each other, to sciences, history, culture, music. What does this indicate? The stuff in the water. Bacteria? No, no. You go like that, pull. It's really hard to explain my culture to people that have never been in the north. <laughs> But I try my best to really teach them our language, a bit of our tools, how we used to live in the past. There's really no place like the North and through presentations, workshops, lectures, we've seen that it's a region which is changing extremely rapidly. It's not until you really see it for yourself that you really understand how important this is, like how the glaciers are melting and how much of the glaciers is going to be gone in a couple of years. And I don't think people are aware of how much it will affect the planet. <laughs> um, but deal with these younger people is tremendous energy. You know, the energy and, and the hope for the future, to be quite honest. Um, you know, in them we see the future, and in them I see hope. 
being in the nature and like breathing the fresh air, you know, look at the beautiful view. You feel that sense of awe and wonder that touches you in the heart. And when you touch youth in the heart in particular, that shapes them. Uh, we, f we still f want to fill their heads with lots of information, but it's when you touch them in the heart that change really takes place. And we see that transformative experience happening on these expeditions. I mean, there's no planning for this stuff. It, it happens and you just got to be ready for it. And even if you don't get it on camera, you, you got it in your brain forever. You, this is something that no one can ever forget. Not anyway.